While the Ripple vs SEC case goes on, Deaton has exposed the SEC even further. What has he revealed now? And what is the crazy news of a former Ripple developer selling billions of XRP all about? Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. But first, we are giving away $500 at the end of the month to one random subscriber to start on their XRP journey. All you need to do is to like the video, subscribe and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comment section. Welcome back XRP Army! Additionally, the digital asset ecosystem is anticipating the outcome of the SEC vs Ripple case, which will provide legal clarification from the United States Congress. The hostel has gone silent in the meantime, as industry leaders offer their suggestions for an ideal regulatory framework, with Ripple proposing minimal oversight from an SEC that has been cryptocurrency lawsuit of the century, to cryptocurrency in the past, leaving many to wonder why the case has gone silent. A settlement in the SEC vs Ripple case has been put on hold after nearly two years of inaction, leading some in the XRP community to assume that a possible deal was in the works. Naturally, this isn't the first time that such concerns have been raised in this manner. Remember that in late July, Ripple's attorney, Jeremy Hogan, called attention to a number of surprising things, the conclusion of which was the company's deafening quiet after William Hinman's scheduled deposition. While he believed at the time that a settlement was almost certainly on the horizon, following events demonstrated that he was completely erroneous. A great lot has happened in the intervening period. Court orders both parties to give over a variety of documents that can be used as evidence to support their respective claims. Judge Sarah Nett Byrne has ordered Ripple to disclose further recordings of its meetings as part of her ongoing investigation. When the individual defendants and Ripple officials communicate to the media, the SEC will be looking to see if they refer to XRP as if it were a share of stock rather than a digital currency, as opposed to a digital currency. The attorney Jeremy Hogan has now created a video explaining what is now taking on in the courtroom. Expert discovery, which may be seen below. Both parties are conducting expert depositions. There are two kinds of witnesses in a case, fact witness and expert witness. An expert witness is someone who brings a special knowledge or expertise and is allowed to do something very special in court, and that is, giving an opinion. If I was in the witness box and the SEC asked me if I thought if the XRP ledger was decentralized or not, there would be an objection and the judge would tell me my opinion is irrelevant and I would not be allowed to answer. Only someone with training in decentralized ledger would be allowed to give an opinion, he explained. I am certain that each side, in this case, have listed numerous experts and they will be explaining all the technical aspects of the case to the judge and we can expect each deposition to last all day and each expert must prepare a report of his or her opinion and I wouldn't be surprised if there are 10 to 15 experts in total on this case. So when adding it all together that's a lot of work going on right now in the case behind the scenes. Comment, XRP Army, if you believe Deaton is right. XRP was withdrawn from cryptocurrency exchanges in the United States as of December 2020, prompting widespread outcry among market participants and industry officials. The Securities and Exchange Commission issued the order in response to widespread criticism. Due to the SEC's simple trigger for enforcement activities in the cryptocurrency sector, this was reasonable. After all, no exchange wanted to anger a regulator who is so readily triggered into enforcement measures in the cryptocurrency field. Do you agree that Ripple will win the case? If yes, then make sure to like this video. However, Jed McCaleb, the former co-founder and chief technical officer of Ripple, has been selling XRP since, since the lawsuit was launched against the cryptocurrency exchange company. This fact has been brought to the notice of the general public and the XRP community on a number of times, but has so far proven unsuccessful. There has been no comment from the Securities and Exchange Commission, and it does not appear to be worried about what it has proclaimed to be unregistered securities transactions in the first place. J.D. McCaleb has sold $2,147 billion in worth of XRP so far in 2021. This is an 80% increase in value over his total XRP sales from 2016 to the present. He is not, on the other hand, alone in his convictions. Ripple Labs has also sold the digital currency this year, but at a lower volume. The business sold a total of $800 million worth of XRP throughout the course of the year. The SEC claims all XRP, even XRP traded in the secondary market, are securities. 
it claims Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson enriched themselves and seeks $1.3 billion. Yet, Ripple co-founder Jed McCaleb has sold more than $2 billion since the lawsuit was filed, John Deaton tweeted. XRP holders acquired XRP because they believed in the technology not because of the CEO or founder. Their property has been frozen pending the outcome of the case. If the SEC truly believed what it's alleged, why are Ripple and its co-founder allowed to continue to sell? If XRP traded in the secondary market as an investment contract with Ripple as the SEC claims, why didn't it seek a preliminary injunction to stop Ripple from continuing to sell? Why didn't it issue a cease and desist to others who weren't sued? By the way, do you agree this is wrong? Let us know in the comment section down below. There has been mounting pressure on the XRP cryptocurrency in the United States, and the chorus of voices is becoming more strident by the day. Yet neither digital asset exchanges nor cryptocurrency exchanges are ready to risk having the SEC come knocking on their door because of their choice to include XRP in their offering, since the SEC has shown no sign of bending on the matter. All of this is really alarming, yet the long-term outlook for XRP looks to be rather positive. The cryptocurrency Bitcoin is now making its way toward asset-based forms of exchange, having explored every nook and crevice of the financial world thus far. Tokenized digital assets are becoming increasingly popular, particularly in Asian countries, as a means of both security and payment on a daily basis, according to a report by Bloomberg. The increasing popularity of cryptocurrencies has prompted numerous corporations such as MasterCard to move forward to collaborate with cryptocurrency dealers in order to provide disruptive payment methods. With Bitcoin usage and staking on the increase, Ripple and its connections to central financial institutions look as the most enticing investment option for cryptocurrency investors at a time when the cryptocurrency market is booming. As we all know, many investors believe XRP to be the most valuable cryptocurrency, making it the most valuable cryptocurrency in the world. The fact that Bitcoin and Ethereum are retaining a low profile in the market suggests that other digital tokens, such as XRP, will likely find their way into wider popular acceptability in the near future. As a result of the platform's launch of a new service oriented toward financial firms, which will allow them to provide cryptocurrency trading to their customers, the price of XRP is projected to rise even more in the near future. As of right now, the cryptocurrency market is feeling a little down, with the value of Bitcoin and Ethereum remaining relatively stable. Therefore, XRP is trading laterally rather than reacting to the price decline head-on as it would otherwise. It also has a stronger position in terms of consolidating in its current value area rather than selling off. Despite the continuous volatility, the digital currency has managed to retain its value above the resistance level of $1.05. Price is now hovering around the $1.09 mark. Fortunately, the planned features, as well as a potential victory in the XRP vs SEC lawsuit, are expected to significantly increase the price of XRP and could bring it very well to above $4. What do you think about Ripple's chances to win against the SEC? Do you think we'll see the end of the case soon? Let us know in the comment section. If you want to continue to know about XRP, we have got two videos waiting for you on the end screen to check out. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Kindly note that prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. Do conduct your due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.